Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessie Katz Greenberg, sharing with you easy upcycled crafts, hand lettering, and embroidery. And today I'm back with another Halloween craft. Woo! Today we're going to be transforming burnt matchsticks into the cutest mini witch's brooms for Halloween. Let's get started. Break off the burnt end of your match. This might crumble off easily or you can use an X-Acto blade. Cut two to three inches of raffia. I'm just bending mine so it'll stay a little bit straighter. And then arrange that. You really only need a little bit, so I'm pulling a small section aside. Add some hot glue to the broken end of your matchstick, and then sort of roll or fold it into the raffia. If not all the raffia sticks right now, that's totally fine. Let's add a second layer so our broom is nice and full. So we're repeating the process, adding a little bit of hot glue and then kind of folding the raffia around it. If any is very loose, you can just kind of glide your hand along it and pick off any of those super loose pieces. And if not all is stuck, that again is totally fine because now we're gonna wrap it with some embroidery floss or any string or twine you have laying around. So cut a few inches of your embroidery floss I'm trying to wrap it really tight here, wrapping it around three or four times. Then you're gonna pull each end really tight to get it nice and taut, and tie a couple of knots. Using your scissors, I'm not trimming the floss yet, I'm just trimming the raffia, so I want the top of my broom to be a little bit straighter. Push those floss pieces aside so you don't cut them and trim the bottom of your broom to length. And then I went in at an angle just to kind of make it a little bit more whimsical, not so even. If you have any really wide pieces of raffia, you can cut those into smaller pieces as well. Finesse the raffia so it looks exactly how you want it. And your broom could be done just the way it is now, but we're gonna go ahead and add some charms and stones. I got this charm pack off of Amazon. It's just a celestial charms pack. And I'm just choosing which one I think looks right. I'm gonna go with this little star and moon and add that to your floss and then tie, you only really need to tie one knot here and then wrap the floss around to the back of the broom and tie two or three knots. Then go ahead and snip those ends. So again, the broom could be done here. This looks cool with just the charm, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some stones using some chip beads that I have. So I'm trying to decide which color looks best and ultimately we're gonna go with red jasper. For this, I find it easiest to use stretchy cord. So cut a few inches of stretch magic, string your beads, for this size broom, I was finding four to five stone chips works depending on the size of your beads. Now wrap that cord around the top of your broom and tie it off in several knots in the back. I like to use a surgeon's knot with stretchy cord because it just makes sure that my knots don't slip since the cord is a little slippery. So I'm gonna tie several of those and then snip off the ends. And since it's stretchy cord, you can kind of reposition as needed. Now your broom is done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a tip in case your floss isn't long enough to tie off in the back with this other colorway I did. So I didn't cut enough red metallic floss. So I only had room to tie it once in the back, which really wasn't strong enough. So I just used a dab of hot glue folded the floss over into that glue very carefully snipped the end, and then add a tiny bit of hot glue on top just to be extra safe. So this is another colorway I did using metallic or sparkly red floss, white halite beads, and a brass colored charm. Your brooms are good to go as they are, or for a party, you can tie them to cocktail napkins or your napkins to leave on your bar cart, candy bar, or tablescape. So to do that, just grab one of your napkins cut several inches of some coordinating ribbon. And I originally tried to tie the napkin and the broom all together, but you'll see here that it ended up being easier to 
kind of finesse and tie the napkin by itself like I'm doing here. Get one knot on there and then shove your broom in there and finish tying a little bow. So this is great, like I said, if you want these as party favors and you can just leave these so when people grab their napkin, they grab their cute little witch's broom. So just tie your ribbon in a bow, trim off the ends, and these are ready to go. If you don't want to tie them to napkins, you can always just kind of stick your brooms in a little jar so everyone can just take one. Check out my Halloween playlist for more last minute Halloween ideas. And if you make these, be sure to tag me at Jessie Katz Greenberg on Instagram or TikTok.